there's a number of new features with the uh, with this macro uh, where you can align text add moment symbols to the drawings and add break lines to the drawings as well so to demonstrate this I'm back to my foundation plan here and I'm gonna go to tools macros and the macro you want to launch is the drawing tools macro and you're gonna see a bunch of different icons up here so the text alignment tools are on the left and the drawing uh, CAD drafting type tools for defining fillets and offsets those are here as well I'm gonna open the scissors symbol which is the one for adding break lines and I'm gonna pick my symbol and a scale and then a pen uh, color and then I just pick the views which I want to add the uh, cuts to and it automatically adds these uh, break lines so these are just hatching lines as I see here if I move the view extrema, as of right now, they do not update. But if I select the view and recreate it, it will update to that uh, new view extrema. So in the future, we will have it so that it will be live and, and update to the, to the views. So this will help with your productivity of adding the line works. Uh, we have symbols already, but it was you know proven difficult to model those in. This is just obviously an easier way to get them uh, into the into the drawings and then moving on to the moment symbols I'm going to open up the roof plan and remember earlier I changed a property in the roof uh, rafter here to have a user defined attribute uh, within the end conditions tab for moment release so here's that user defined attribute for both ends this moment connection uh, attribute set to yes so that property is set so within the model and so now when I pick the view and I open up the moment symbol macro I, again I pick a pen color and then a scale and it's going to scan all the objects that are within the view that have that user defined attribute setting and it's going to apply the moment symbols. So I have some other ones here that I had set up from in the model with that property and I can see the rafter here with that. Right now the location of these are fixed to be 10 inches from the end uh, or from the center line of the member. So for deeper columns like this situation you will have to make some adjustments. However, for W12 and W14, even heavy W14 sizes, uh, 10 inches seems to work well for those type of conditions. So you shouldn't have to do much adjustments in that manner. So you can give us feedback on this, uh, what type of flexibility you want with these tools. That would be uh, helpful to us. All right, so now moving on to the drawing settings there is this new functionality called object level settings which if some of, some of you have watched the other webinars on what's new in 16 you have seen an overview of that so we've taken our drawing settings for the US uh, environment and localized those as well to utilize this new functionality and what it is is say well, I double click on the on the plan view here and we have our out-of-the-box example like say plan view settings and right now right as of now there's this new tab uh, or button here called edit settings for the detailed object level settings and when I click on that I see a whole list of uh, settings here and these are it's basically an organizer of all the drawing classifiers that are active for this given view so we have steel and various cast in place uh, object settings for both parts and part marks. So there's three columns here. Uh, the first one is the drawing filter that's active. The second one is the object type. So all these have pull downs here. 
And so the, uh, the drawing object type refers to these boxes here in the view dialog box, all these, this group here. And then the settings used is actually the file that's saved away within any one of these different object types. So for example, a strip footing, okay, that's using the filter called strip footing. So it's looking for all objects in the model that are defined by the strip footing filter. So I'll go to my strip, fit, uh, strip footing filter and load that. So it's looking for any part that has a design name, user defined attribute, with anything with the word strip in it. So this is what we have localized for the strip footing uh, modeling objects. And notice the user interface on the filters here is just like the model filters now. So it's a lot more robust. So that's for the strip footing filter. Then the drawing type, this is for the part. And there's also a corresponding one for part mark. But for this given part setting, so this is like how the line types, you know, the uh, hidden lines and exact lines and hatching, all this is defined for the part settings. This plan st strip footing part setting is just the file that's located within the part box here and I come in here and load the plan strip footing. And so all these settings here for plan strip footing for the if it's exact, the pen colors for showing hidden lines exact and then the hatching all this control then is per uh, each one of these files before all these files were really just hidden behind these dialog boxes and you didn't really understand how they were organized so this view list is really just to help you organize your settings it also allows you to use our out of the box settings and just go in and edit you know pen colors and how you actually label your objects uh, on your drawings and, and it really cuts down on how much customization you really have to do. We also have these settings then for not just plans but elevations and so here we have unique symbol symbolization for bracing to be like partial profile part marks to call out you know beams and columns with just a prefix like W 18 or W24, you know, the same thing with section and detail. So we have different settings for those. So for like the, the section detail that's shown here, this is just what was here out of the box. So for like steel beams, it calls out that prefix. So a lot of those settings you're going to be able to use uh, with your own, for your own standards. And one thing too is you can just deactivate uh, for a given like section view you don't have to use object level settings and then you can obviously use that or then even save away your own settings within here and use those so I would recommend that you don't like create your own plan section elevation you don't have to you can use these settings but then just localize your own object level settings and then just load those and apply those so